Hello and welcome back to Atlas single player this time because yes I did start doing a multiplayer series because I don't know people asked for it and I was like why the hell not my mates were asking me to play and so I did and while it has been a bit laggy at times it's not completely unbearable so we're gonna keep going with that as well as a single player series so today we have quite a simple basic task and that is to put these guys to work Mr. Elephant and Mr. Giraffe over there you pain in the ass giraffe you were a real pain in the butt Giraffe and not Slumpo because Slumpo died about 10 minutes after I tamed it <laughs> poor Slumpo anyway today what I wanted to do was I want to build like a dock so we're basically what I'm thinking is it's going to be a big pain in the ass bit of a project but you know what it's going to be worth it once it's done because what I want to do is I want to make a dock that wraps around here. It's not going to go to the shoreline, right? This is different to the last dock. So this dock is going to wrap around here. It's going to go in the water a bit. And then it's going to have like, maybe like one little bit that comes out to the shoreline here. Alright, so like a little pathway here. Probably, what, three wide so I can fit elephants. Maybe four wide again. So I can fit elephants on it. And it will go out to about here it'll then loop over to that shipyard and then wrap all the way around to where the other shipyard is over th where is it there it is over there so I'm thinking the best way to do this is to essentially I want the edge of the dock to be in line with the part where the schooner schooners can go so I gotta figure out how far can the schooner come over here. That's the real question. How far over here can we make this come? So let's go try and figure that out on the yucky ship because the good ship is gone. I was really proud of that schooner that I had before this. I really liked the way that I did the cabin and everything and now I can't even remember what it looks like so that's one benefit of doing YouTube videoing is I can just go back and look. So yay for that, I suppose. So, how far are you able to go, Mr. Shippy? You... Probably something about, like, here? Alright. So we can have the dock kind of wrap. Probably a good idea to actually go out a little bit further. So we can have it come out to about the middle of the ship, and then we'll have it take a sharp turn this way, I think. I think that's going to be the way to go. So what I'm going to have to do now, is I'm going to have to go do a whole bunch of farming. Gathering up of the resources, the chopping downs of the trees, and the gathering of the fibres. Thankfully I've got all three of the animals I need to do that. So... Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. Let the farming commence. Alright, so I've done a bit of farming. Quite a bit of farming. And then I've spent a whole bunch of time crafting up a bunch of pillars and ceilings and stuff. See? Now what we got to do is I actually need to make a floor for one second. We need to... Uh, what's the popular one that we have around here? Rushes? Yes. I think it's rushes. I'm using rushes. Uh, and strong wood. I don't need that much. I just need enough to make a, like one floor. That's all I need. Alright. Floor. Make one. Make two. Because why the hell not? So. What we got to do now... <laughs> This is going to be actually a little bit difficult. We need to line up all of this stuff and make a dock. So, I'm thinking we YOLO it and we just make do with what we've got. And however it turns out is how it turns out. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start the dock here. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit higher than it's going to go into the ground. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to go out this way, like I said, there'll be like a four wide path here eventually. And then what we're going to do is, 
apparently be overweight because that's the thing. Okay, like that. Can I move? I can not. Well, slightly. I can kind of move. So, we're going to go out like this. And then we're going to have to put pillars down here. So this is going to be a very, very long process. So what I'm thinking is, just so you can see the build process a little bit and see how I do it, we're going to do one of my infamous speedy up with music in the background type. It's probably just going to be quicker if I stay in the water to do this. Speedy up, it's stay in the... I don't know. I just completely lost the ability to speak English properly. So, enjoy the fast forwardy part, montage type deal in the bob. Well, here we are. I've kind of made the dock up as best as I can with the limitations that Vanilla gives me, except for this chunky, because this uh, storage chest is very much in the way. Look at that there. But it's a very simple design. It goes, you know, just like this, kind of wraps all around. I did the best I can. 
Uh, with certain areas, it's a little bit how you're going, like here. It's just, it just wouldn't really line up too well. So I've got that going like that. And there's another spot over there. But yeah, overall, I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. It, it's certainly going to make life easier when loading onto and off ships. Can I get, uh, actually, here we go. Thank you. I need to move the ship into position. But... As we can see here, if I, well, I don't know, this isn't exactly a perfectly designed docket, isn't it? <laughs> it's all good. You know what, actually, I think with this, the way this dock is shaped, the way that I'm going to have to dock ships on it is basically straight on. So, oh, there's a crocodile. It's attacking a wild elephant. That's alright, my guys are in neutral. They'll take care of that croc if they have to. Should probably... Yeah, you know what, that actually brings me to the next part of today's episode. Because I'm kind of... Feeling like... I can't be bothered building any more of this dock for now. There's a few more things I want to do to it. Like I want to put like a railing up around it. Oh, and as you can see, I used... I don't know how well you can see actually. Um, Gamma 4. Um, you can see I kind of put like a thatch outer edge. I was going to do stone, but we did that last time and I didn't really want to do the same thing. I mean, technically it is the same thing, it's just a different thing, but you know, it's a different texture, alright? Like, give me a break. But, um, yeah, I forgot what I was completely saying now because I got distracted by that. Um, Jesus Christ, that croc and elephant are really going at it. What level are they? <laughs> um, yeah, so... That brings me to the next thing I gotta do. I gotta build like a little, a little pen for these guys, the elephant, and giraffe, and all that. Now, last time when I built a pen, I just built a giant barn. Remember, the big barn that we put it in there, American-style barn. This time, I'm thinking I want to have like a big open area for them to just kind of chill in, relax in, and I'm just trying to think where should we put it. Should we put it off to the side here, like up against this? No, because then things can come running off the top of the mountain. So we should probably put it... Hmm, maybe up the back there. Up the back might be a good spot. Behind the house in that little area. There's where well, those trees are now. Slowly started to respawn in. I think that might be the go. Level 68 crocodile, jeez. Alright guys, it's your turn. Get him! Yeah, look at him go. Yeah, <laughs> you've made the worst decision of your life there. Silly little crocodile. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking... Yeah, probably the best bet will be behind that house. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, maybe. Because of all that... You know what? Oh, God, I can't believe I'm about to do this. Um, right over there. See that big pile of water behind the dock that kind of goes into like a little arrow point. Maybe we should turn that all into like a, th a thatch... F uh, just can I lower my anchor? If I press X I can. It's, that is terrible parking. That, that is just embarrassing. See, I'm kind of torn. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We'll put the pen back here. Alright. It's going to be a large pen. Uh, thankfully, I've still got plenty of wood and stuff, so I should be able to make the walls pretty quickly. Um, how big do I want it? I want to... Maybe this whole... F this area is nice and flat back here. It's a little bit far from the house, but you know what? I don't care. I I'll travel the extra 100 metres or so. We can put it in here. We'll make like this big open field here. A... A, like a little pen thing and the reason I want a big open area for a pen is because I'm gonna do something extremely stupid absolutely stupid and really completely irritating but to make, give the game a little bit more life I'm gonna put the animals inside the pen and I'm gonna set them to wander which means they're gonna need a big room to move around because uh, it kind of, it's kind of a bit sad how they just stand still all day and don't do anything. 
So a giant pen, I feel, is the best idea for that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to craft up a whole bunch of floors and stuff again. And a whole lot of walls, because I just realised... Uh, actually, no. No, no, I'll do it a different way. Never, never mind the wall thing. How much walls do I have? Almost none. I've got plenty of fucking pillars. Why did I make so many pillars? <sighs> Jeez, regrets. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on that. And I'll probably slap up the uh, pen for us. So you, we've already done one fasty up timey wimey thing. The next one, it's not going to be that exciting. Well, I don't even think that one would have been that exciting either, but it's basically just me building a giant box wall. So, I'll be back in one second. Uh, enjoy the millisecond it's going to take for you to get to the next part of the video, while I go the long way around. Alrighty, I've got most of the, uh, the little pen for the dinos built up. There's just one more thing we have to do. I want to make a gateway, which I've already searched. That was the metal I needed. Now, where is the metal on this? There it is, cobalt. I don't need that much. That much will do. Go here. We're going to go here. And we're going to find our medium-wide gateway. Awesome. And our wide-medium stone gate requires alloy. Oh, we don't have alloy. Do I have alloy? I don't know. Hold on. Excuse me. Uh, no. No wonder why I can't find any. Uh, we need cobalt. What do we need for cobalt alloy? Just salt. Did I get salt? I got salt, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Last episode. Did I actually bring it inside, though? That is the better question. I did bring some inside. Okay, we're going to take that. And we'll take that. And we'll move this fast. I need, like, a pathway to that. And go around here. Didn't get any wood, because why the hell would I get any wood? That's just silly. Cobalt there. You need coal as well. Do we have coal? Let's have a look. Uh, there's no... Yep, sulfur. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to take this as well. I'm going to need that for fuel. I'm going to put this in here. Put that like that. Like that up. Craft all of that. What the hell? Underwater lantern. Don't even know what the hell that is. That's something new. Anyway, so while that's doing all that, let's go place down our gateway. Oh, for a second, I didn't think I made it. Alright, so, the area that I've built for the elephants and the giraffe and everything to wander around free is just back here. And this is it. It did actually take that much to build, to be honest. It was like 140 odd fence foundations and like 200 odd walls. It was actually pretty, it, was, it really surprised me how simple it was to make. Um, so, what I'm trying to do is, why won't you snap in the one I want you to snap into? Alright, well, okay. The, no, yeah, yeah, stay there. Boom. Awesome. Go there. Now, let's just get rid of this uh, wood railing. Here. Don't need this wall. Don't need this wall. Nor this one. Or this one. Um, oh crap. Can I pick this back up? I've got a sneaking feeling that that snapped to these um, fence supports. And I don't want that because if I was to, to demolish the fence supports like I'm doing right now, it would demolish that entire gate. Yes, I have done things like that before in the past. In Ark mainly. And it's always, always ended terribly for me. Not this time. You will not get me. Alright, let's see. Can I get this lined up properly? Okay, you need a little bit more to the left. How's that look? It's hard to tell. Okay, so we go this side. That looks about right. We go this side. Slightly off. Okay, so a little bit more to the left. Alright, how's that look? A little bit like that. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, we've got that there. Maybe like a fraction more. I can live with that. I can live with that. Now what we just gotta make do make sure is that it looks okay, so there. 
Okay, so a little bit of the brown on the side of that wall is sticking outside the blue, and it uh, looks like the same there. That's about as close as I'm going to be able to do it freehand. Could probably get a little bit better, but you know, I'm not going to quibble about any that tiny sliver. So there we go, we got that done. Do I have, I should be able to make a wall. A uh, wall here. Let's replace this, shall we? Bam. Excellent. And that should keep the dinos in, the dinos, the animals inside the little barn real well. And let's go make our gate. Our final little piece of the puzzle. Alright, yeah, here, I need this, it's probably still not enough. Is it enough? Let's have a look. Go here, go there. That's fate. We don't need fates, we need gates. Wait, why can't I make the big one? Whatever. Uh, a little bit more alloy and like 200 more stone. Do I have even 200 more stone? I probably don't. Put that there. Where's my hatchet? I don't want to make that. That was a waste. I don't even know where my hatchet is. Maybe there's stone. Is there stone on the ship? I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, climb. You have plenty of salt in you. And apparently no resource box. Because... <sighs> my ship. My poor, poor little ship. So, do I have a hatchet in here by any chance? I don't. I don't guess I don't have a hatchet. Well, then we'll make one. No, apparently we won't, because we don't have any hide. Where is hide? There's some skin, that'll do the trick. Put that there, that can go there, make that. Wait patiently. There's my hatchet, damn it. There it is. Okay. Um, what rock do we want to remove? This one. This is our enemy rock. You are enemy! You must be removed. Oh, there we go. I've got all the stone I need. Thank you for all the stone that I needed in like two swings. Oh, you. Give me that. Is that enough? What was it? 68 we needed? That should be enough. I think it's 70 now. Let's put that there. Let me put this stone. Let me go back to gate. And let me scroll down to here. The medium gate's still not enough. Need five more alloy. What are you doing, elephant? Level 96 elephant? Well, I'm not gonna poke you. That should be enough. I think that's a trick. Alright. Can I drag this out any longer? What do you guys think? Woohoo! Medium gate! Give me that. Let's go place the medium gate. Medium gate to place. Where is the pun? There it is. Bam! Beautiful. Now, we just got to put all the animals in, and then that's going to be it for this episode. It's a pretty easy episode. Well, yeah, well, I suppose it was easy. It was just a bit of a mind-numbing experience. Um, excuse me. Here, I, don't, I was going to jay whistle, but then I remembered that the cat is upstairs, and that would be all kinds of evil and terrible terribleness. We don't want to deal with that. Runaway cat in the jungle. Probably get murderized. And I'd have to sail back and tame yet another one. Wait, yeah, tame another one. Technically, that would be the second one because my last one vanished. He ran, he ran away. Well, the last cat we had ran away and it ran away with the ship. Like it straight up abandoned me. <sighs> These giraffes are not made to be intelligent. I don't know where the other animals are either. Um, on the plus side, at least I know he can't get. Can you turn around? Turn your heavy ass around. The other way, be. <laughs> Even wait, well the bears there. Okay, and the cows there. Awesome. Everyone's made it inside. Excellent. So we're just gonna take you off that. We gotta go here, we close this, and then we make them wander about. Behavior, enable wandering, behavior, enable wandering. I don't know how long I'll have them do this. Um, 
I suppose I'll keep doing this until the moment that I forget to disable the wandering and I've got them out and they just disappear. Look at them! They're enjoying their new home! Yay! But that's going to be it for this episode guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do this, do that, do this, do that. Sign over your house, your property and all your belongings to YouTube. And as always, have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Bye. You're going to knock that tree over, aren't you? No. No escaping. You do not escape. That is your home. You live there now. This is probably a bad idea actually because once I sail out of render range the first thing that despawns is the player built stuff so it's paying terribly but it's pretty cool for now at least <laughs>